Um, a quick reminder to people before I start the video is a number of people have been like spoiling future events, areas, and weapons in this game. Well, I know that I introduced this game like probably over a year ago in an update video and I'm sure a lot of them have finished the game, but this walkthrough has introduced this game to a lot of new people and in turn posting comments about future events kind of spoils that for other people. So I've had to remove a lot of comments like that lately. It, it's no offense to anyone, I just want people to, you know, have like a new experience to the game. You know, their own like first playthrough rather than, you know, reading through the comments and just going like, oh dang it, this is spoiled, oh dang it, this is spoiled, you, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't say stuff that's like, publicly in like about certain stuff that hasn't happened yet in the walkthrough like if I've talked about something or showed something in the walkthrough uh, already uh, go right ahead and say it on that part that I said it or in later parts but otherwise uh, try and refrain from saying it until a later part please anyway e hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough we've got a new type of critter here and I forgot to talk to these guys before I went up I'm sorry the switch that opens this door is supposed to be up top somewhere, but the footing's tricky up there. I fell over and over again until I broke my legs. Oh, that's kind of violent there. Luckily, you're some sort of robot of some sort or whatever. I bet Misery to tossed you down here, you poor thing. This is the island's trash heap. Once you get in, you never get out. We'll see about that. And you? There's no reply. Whoa, it's dead. No! So there's only these two robotic little kitten-like things left. Anyway, these are purple critters as I said. Let's uh, show off the new blade weapon. This thing's extremely powerful as you can see. Uh, its range is kind of weak though, as you can see there, and it's also kind of slow. That's its weakness. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to power it up to level 2 if possible be uh, before I get out of this place. If not, I'll be able to do it on my way uh, through the labyrinth here. Anyway, I'm going to go up to here. Yeah! And no, no, oh, that was a close one. Uh, they do quite a lot of damage if you hit them. Um, well, or at least their bullets do, so be careful of the purple critters. They've also got a lot of different varied attacks. Yeah! Oh yeah, baby. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. And you notice that there's a lot of one block jumps up here. This is pretty tricky to do if you're using just a keyboard. So this is one of those places I definitely recommend that you have a controller for. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> that was tricky. It almost got me with its bullets, but I made it. And I'm not gonna be able to get up there. I don't even know why I wanted to jump up there. Um. Down there is a health upgrade, the only uh, health upgrade and only upgrade in the labyrinth. There's some weapons that you can get in here though, but I'll cover them as I go, of course. And, ooh, no, 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 there we go. Oh, no, no, okay. Oh, a little panicky here, I don't wanna fall back down. It's a long way down, it takes a while to get up here. So there's your life capsule. And over here you got some moving blocks that surprise you, just jump on top of them like so. <clears throat> Excuse me, like so and just get up to here, these crisscross like that, and your objective is to get over to this computer, there we go. Yes, I would love to open the door, and now I can jump down from the top happily. Yay! So much for once you're in here, you can't get out. <laughs> so, yay! Don't worry about breaking your legs though, this is a safe ride. Oh, I hit a block. And I might as well save my game just to uh, keep myself going here. And through the... Wait, wait, wait. Did you see that? Both those robots are gone. And this one's dead. No! And these are a new type of enemy. I forgot their names. It'll be in the enemy box as usual. Uh, they are kind of tricky in the way that they are, but they're, they're manageable. Anyway, there's a block that'll no doubt squish you if you let it. So don't let it squish you. I just thought, oh, I, I was wondering if he was going to go back. <laughs> um, what you have to do is jump over here. I probably should have demonstrated that on my first run, but whatever. There we go. It's not that hard to avoid. Just go down here on top of this blocky poo and up to this door, which is covered by your weapons and status. And now we've got a rockin' tune. Look out for the purple critters. Ooh. They're so squirmy. They're kind of hard to hit. And, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I got hit by the bullet. Five damage for a bullet. 
And I don't have very much health now, do I? <laughs> when I got plopped down the labyrinth. Ah, I said labyrinth instead of lab labyrinth. Or however it's supposedly pronounced. I've always called it labyrinth since I was a kid. And it's, it's been like a force of habit. That sort of thing happened a lot um, during my Sonic 1 walkthrough. Anyway, go into this building and these guys are okay. You don't have to hit them. They're... What? You eat Mamigas? Oh, ugh. Uh, have fun with that, man. I'm, I'm not gonna hang around you. <laughs> anyway, up here you've got a guy. And then the outside of this island. What? This island? What? It's floating in the sky? Huh. I guess we're gonna find out how it does it later on. Anyway, you can talk to a lot of these guys. Now, the guy at the end here, that's at that desk, he's got something for us. And I'll show you when we get there. Uh, wait, what did you have to say? There's a little bit of witch on this island, she's the Oh, they're, so they're gaudies, okay. So that's their name. <laughs> so hello, Mr. Gaudy, how's it going? It, obviously, since you're trapped down here, it's not looking too good for you. Anyway, this guy over here, oh, you can't get up here, by the way, I'll just mention that right now. Um, out of my way, I want to talk to the shopkeep. Thank you. Okay, this guy is Chaba. He's got quite a lot of stuff for you, depending on whether you have the machine gun or you have your polar star. Now, I'll explain this here. Now, he, he says I have a polar star and fireball. Now, I, he wants to take a quick look at them. If you say yes, he'll transform them into a new gun known as the snake. Here, I'll do a little demonstration for you with past PK Gam. Hey, this is Past PK Gam here. This is April 21st, 2011. And I'm gonna show you how the snake works here. This is basically the snake. It looks like a fireball of sorts, but it's got, it's like streams in a zigzag pattern, sort of like the wave beam in Metroid games. And what's interesting about this weapon is that it has the power to shoot through walls. That's what makes the snake a worthy weapon for some people. But I think keeping your polar star and fireball might be the better idea because you'll get a better weapon later than this. Or at least I think so. But if your main interest is shooting through walls, like sniping through things, you'll probably find this weapon very useful to you. Anyway, future PK Gam, or I should say present PK Gam, your turn! You know, now. Thank you, past PK Gam. You are a valued member of this community. Anyway, I don't want to trade it in because I, as I said before, I want to keep the Polar Star for a better weapon. So I'm just gonna say no to this right now. And if you come here with the machine gun, you know, Curly's machine gun, he'll have something for you called the Turbo Charge. And that will double the machine gun's recharge rate. Very, very handy for you to pick up. And now, if you come back to here later, after you exit the labyrinth, yeah, minor spoilers, we're getting out of here. <laughs> Who would have expected that, you know? It's kind of obvious. Uh, but you'll, when you come back here and talk to him, he'll give you an item called the Whimsical Star, which is three stars that orbit you and do minor damage to enemies. I'll pick that up a little bit later. Anyway, let's get over to... Ow! Oh, I am in quite a predicament here. <laughs> And by the way, my sword leveled up, as you can see there. It's got... It's actually... Its range is worse? Come on, are you serious? Yeah, its range is actually worse than the level 1. Well, it's got more power, though. Uh, but it's still a decent weapon, and this guy is going to give me some trouble. <laughs> and uh, I, I am at 1 health. This is not good, and there's a lot of shooting enemies. Any hit from anything will kill me, so that's not something that I want. Not only did six damage from a long range thing, hmm. I guess its damage varies depending on your position. <laughs> don't touch me. I don't want you to touch me in my naughty places. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, you can't get up here? So if you jump up, there we go. Yup. No, no, no. No, I died. Well, I guess that's okay because I'll get my health back or part of... I think I could have swore I saved way back over, not here, I thought I saved at the uh, shop. I'll be right back. Oh, would you look at that, now I saved. <laughs> okay, so we're back over here, that didn't take long at all to do. 
What a cheap shot! That was the cheapest shot ever. And I mean ever in the history of gaming. <laughs> They're just like, I can walk out of the door. Oh, oh, I took five damage. Would you look at that? At least I got some of my health back on my way here, so I shouldn't have as much trouble at these spots over here, and I won't have to play like uh, a little girl. <laughs> So I can pretty much rush through a lot of this. Um, we're coming up to a place known as the, I think it's the medical center actually. And we're gonna meet up with an old friend. Ugh. Give me my power-ups. Give me my power-ups. I want my level two sword back, even though it's got a suckier range. And I got some of my health back. And you know what? I'm just gonna go in. Give me my pocket change. And here we go. Oh, it's the camp, not the medical center. Well, it does have stuff to do with medical. Um, can I sleep here to recover my health? Yes, I can! Yay! Awesome sauce. Okay, now I'm going to save my game before I talk to them. And uh, in case you didn't realize, there's Curly. But let's talk to these peeps. He's a physician. Uh, what? But, uh, you we just refilled my health? Well, what's the point of that bed over there, then? What's the point of... Ugh. Well, anyway, he gives me the clinic key because I need to get something for Curly over there. So, yeah, she's like, oh, hey, haven't seen you in a while. You're looking good. That witch tossed you down here too, eh? Same as me. So you weren't able to beat them after all. I actually had my hopes up for you, but, and me, I tried. Oh, I tried, and just look where it got me. All in all for nothing. In the end, I couldn't save any of those children. The shape I'm in now, I won't be leaving anytime soon. So, that might mean that those kids got killed. I certainly hope not. But anyway, you want to go up to... Uh, you want to climb upwards. I'm just going to... Ah, shoot, rush my way through here. Uh, so I don't take too much damage from these guys. Uh, when you want to... I mean, whenever you exit that building over there, you want to power your way through this area because... There's a lot of enemies, and you're going to take a lot of hits if you don't, so attack hard and fast when you come through here. And what you want to do is go up to here, and this is the old unused clinic. So let's get ourselves some medicine. Yay, it's a cure-all! It looks like a ginormous pill. Holy cow, look at the size of that thing. Who can swallow that? And oh my god! This is a boss known as Poo Black. Um, you'll notice it's got like a bubble shield of sorts. Well, it's kind of like our bubbler, actually, in that faster weapons, even if they do less damage, tend to do more damage in the long run than a weapon like this sword here that'll do uh, more damage in a shorter amount of time because of the fact that uh, the bubbles, as I said, act like a shield. Oh god, if, you, if he lands on you, you're going to take a lot of damage. Um, so you actually want to choose something other than, like, the sword or rocket launcher, but surprisingly, the, uh, blade is doing a lot better than I expected. <laughs> so, I, I'm really surprised that did so well. And don't touch him here! I did this before. I, I thought he was dead, but as long as those bubbles are still popping up, he'll still hurt you. Anyway, that's the boss. It's not that hard to beat. It's just you gotta avoid him when he drops down on you, and that's pretty much his only attack, besides that bubble shield. And that bubble shield really doesn't do all that much. Oh god. Oh god. Run, 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 run. Give the cure-all. Yay. Okay, let's give it to... Wait, actually, let's give it to Curly in the next part. Let's save, and I'll end it off here. I hope you enjoyed. See you then.